Hey guys, Fernando's up making me my raspberry leaf tea. I drink two of them. Um, today is Mo's birthday, which is November 30th. And I have good news, right? Um, my mucus plug broke this morning, guys. And I was shook because, like, nothing has been happening. But finally, I got something today. My mucus plug broke. Um, I've just been feeling cramping, but my mom said that maybe later today I'll experience even more contractions or even my water might break. Um, so I did hear a lot that mucus plugs don't really indicate that you're going into labor, but I'm sure something's going on down there. I could barely walk to you guys. like, So I know baby's head is really, really low. But I'm excited and also I'm not going through with the induction, which would be tomorrow. I hope that to tonight or tomorrow I naturally go into labor so I could see that doctor, the one that um my doctor, she's scheduled for tomorrow. So I hope that something happens tonight. That way I give birth tomorrow so I could go in with her. But if not, it's okay. I'll just see any doctor whenever the time comes. An update. I'm going to be updating you guys from here on out. But... Baby brother's coming. Are you excited? Yeah. He coming. Are you gonna be a good friend? Yeah. It's five in the morning. Are you tired? Yeah. Uh oh, mommy hurting. Owie. Baby, tell mommy she's okay. Mommy, are you okay? Yeah, baby, I'm gonna be okay, okay? I love you, mommy. Yes, she. I love you, mommy. I love you, baby. Are you tired? No. Go to sleep, Mom. Oh my God. Oh, he's back to sleep. Guys, so yesterday, <coughs> December 2nd, my contraction started, but they were really, really mild. But I knew it was something was coming. And tonight, it's 5 or 6 a.m. now, but my contractions were keeping me up all night, but now they're intense, and they're every three minutes. So I'm about to get one right now. You better hurry up, we're about to pop. No. It's What's up, man? It's okay? not gonna be a little bit of time to talk. No. Really? I'm I got scared. the babysitter. I thought three minutes apart means that it's coming. Not really. have to be one minute apart. Well, we better hurry before you get there, because then you're gonna pop in the car. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm scared for this pain again. I don't want to feel like this. Go well, let's go get that epidural. Hold on. Oh my god. I don't miss these at all. Oh my god, I don't think anybody misses being pregnant. Oh my god, the whole time I was like, how do they feel like I forgot? Like, is this one? No, these are it. You're lucky you don't have to get pregnant. I'm timing them. You're popping this baby out today? Fernando's gonna be the vlogger yeah. and my mom. Can you make sure you yeah. vlog for me? See, that's why you should have gone already. I am gonna go right now, but the thing is that I wanna make sure that they're gonna admit her. Cause this yeah. is how I was and they didn't admit me. You know, I'm so nervous, I try to shit and I can't. And I <laughs> feel gonna like gonna I still gotta me, shit. They're gonna, I hope they don't send me home. If they send you home, ask for medicine. But just go ahead and slept on my face. Can you give me something? I'm gonna ask. It works for like an hour or two, but it's something that you can sleep at. Oh. Guys, isn't it crazy that my due date is December 3rd and today's December 3rd? Like, what are the odds? And I read that it's only about 5% of women go into labor um, and deliver on their actual due date. Um, that's crazy. So let's see when baby comes either today or tomorrow because I do take a long time to dilate. I hope I'm dilated something, you guys. Yesterday I did an intense workout, so I'm wondering if that's what helped or if it was just a coincidence that, you know, maybe it's just time. But I'm so scared and nervous, you guys. Shit, like, I'm scared. I'm not even popping the baby out. Compared to my last um, labor, I just hope they can, like, like, 
I don't know, I don't want Pitocin because with Evie they gave me Pitocin and I wasn't able to get the epidural till eight hours later. So I'm hoping and praying that <coughs> um I'm hoping and praying that they could give me the epidural as soon as they give me that if they were to give it to me. Does Brianna have her phone with her? Yeah. Yeah. It was Fernando's birthday last yesterday, so they had shots him and Ruben. And so drunk. I told him them, like, don't drink because the baby might come today. And like, it, and the same th thing with Evie. Remember, you guys got drunk. I think this helps you go into labor. Oh, it's just a good tradition. Oh, I'm getting another one. Oh my god, and these bumps aren't helping. Oh my god. Wait, well, just imagine the real ones are gonna be ten times worse. Oh my god. I can't even with this. How does that shit feel or what? Oh my god. Terrible. Hold on. I need it to go away. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. <coughs> it's slowly going away. Oh my god. These, jo these pains are no joke. they're gonna take you. You can't even walk right now. contractions and I'm two and a half centimeters dilated so um they want me at five yeah and like and to, to keep, keep me I'm not gonna get to five that I'm not gonna get to five that fast how the f if you go home how the fuck do you know when you get to five when she's like, when you're uncomfortable, just come back. But she's like, you're, but you look uncomfortable already. So yeah, like, what the we fuck? might just, we don't, we're not sure what. But it's because she, I don't think so. I just don't, I just want the epidural. I don't want to go through this. She, she told me that my contractions could get worse. If I'm dehydrated, so to, so to drink water, but, <coughs> but um, um, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. The water helps with your contractions. I told her, can I get pain meds? And she said, yeah. 
just to put the order in. Wait, how do you feel? I feel out of 10, you guys already. You just, feel out of 10? Holy smokes. These contractions are no joke. I don't know if I just experienced them like really, really bad. I think everybody experienced them like you do that. It's labor, it's hard. I'm not trying to be like a baby about it, but I knew this was going to happen. <sighs> it has to happen, baby. You got to get birth. Yeah, because we, and we still don't know if they're going to take us. So she doesn't know if I'm in early labor or active labor, so they want to monitor me. But <sighs> You have to be active if you're I two don't days think today. I can go home. There's no way. You're two days today. I'm pretty sure you're active now. And your mucus plug broke uh, two day, two three days ago. Like it has to be like time, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Well, well, that's stupid. I even feel like throwing up. You haven't got another one. It's gonna come right now. Watch. I feel like throwing up. What? I want this day over with. You'll get over it, man. Or at least I just want the epidural. So Hopefully they come in right now and they say you're at least three, three and a half. I just can't this baby. Yeah, you're positive. Oh look, right there it tells you the cine yeah. how big it is. Oh I'm shit. another one. Breathe, babe. Babe, don't tell me that. Well, I feel like you're stuck. I want to be like that. Oh, alright. Okay, you guys, so um, I'm like in excruciating pain with the uh, contractions, but um, I just told her I can't take it anymore. They don't want to give me the epidural until I'm fully admitted. Um, so I told her at this point I'll go home, but I need pain meds, so she just injected me with morphine. So um, I hope that helps. She said that that should help me sleep and get through my contractions for the next, like, what, three to four hours? Yeah. Um, so she said after that... Um, I should be dilated to like what they want, like four, five, six centimeters, and that when I come in, I can get the epidural. So I'm just like hoping and praying that um, this takes effect right now, the morphine, because I cannot take it. I cannot. And she said that even with the morphine, I'll still be dilated. I don't know why they wanted me to like not take it and go walking just to dilate. They don't dilate that quick I'm three and a half, I'm three centimeters right mm -hmm. I'm having contractions so they're like like two minutes apart I don't know what else they want so we're going home guys I got the morphine, but it still hasn't kicked in. My contractions, I can still feel them. I'm pretty much out of demand for this medicine, you guys. And I'm getting sent home because of that. But I don't care. I'd rather do with this at home than have pain meds. This is so like excruciating. And I feel so sleepy already. I just want to feel okay. I just want to be dilated. Why can't I be dilated? <coughs> I'm feeling so thirsty.
You guys, I couldn't really sleep through my contractions, but I slept a little bit, but I don't know if it's wearing off, but it's coming in twice as hard. I'm on the way back to the hospital. I hope they admit me and I can get the epidural. I hope I'm dilated, you guys. I can't take no more of this. My contractions are killing me. Morphine, I hope. If they don't want to give me the epidural, I hope they can give me more medicine. Hopefully they give you the epidural. Dude, I don't know if I have to like, scream at them and be like, hey, I don't care, I need it. <clears throat> we might have to, because that's when we give it to you at three and a half. I'm pretty sure you're going to be at three and a half right now. <laughs> so we're at four and a half. She's dilated at four and a half, five, and she's about to get the epidural right now. We just gotta get all this IV liquid in. Yeah. And she's going through it. I'm so it. happy I'm getting the epidural already. We just need to talk to the anesthesiologist, and they're gonna give you. Can I ever do this again? It's a process. Why does it hurt so bad? It's like unbearable. I'm just so happy that when we came in, I was dilated four and a half to five, so and it was not expecting that. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say three. She's and like, half. we could put the order in now. I'm like, thank God. Yeah, after that, it should be smoother. I think you're really getting, you're almost done with the hard part. Oh, I know. I can't wait. Dude, that sounds like the beginning is kind of the hardest because you gotta go through all the pain. What time is it? 125. 1.25, you guys. 1.25 p.m. December 3rd. We got the epidural. I feel so much better. Like, Wait, how do you feel? so much better, Britt. They gave you the epidural? Yes. Yeah, just now. A little bit, but I'll take that. What? Okay guys, me and my mom finally made it to Brie. You guys Ew. missed the craziness. Fuck. We did. We got here like right after, right when she got her epidural, we already pulled up. You guys oh, okay, thank you. Go ahead and choose one. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so if you feel like your water break, if you feel more leaking, mm -hmm. let me know. If you feel pressure that doesn't go away, that's like constant all the time, let me know. If you have pain and you have to push this button more than twice, mm -hmm. let me know. Okay. Okay. So that he can give you more medicine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then your antibiotic is every four hours. Okay. So I'll give that in the next four hours. Ooh, which one do I want? That's so cute. <laughs> that's because it has different colored. Yeah. Okay. Choose that's any you want. I'll take this one. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. He's a yeah. cute idea. Yeah. All right, and your baby looks beautiful. So okay, good. I can see the monitor out there, but if the IV beeps um, or the monitor beeps, like the alarm goes off, call me. Push okay. the button on the call light, okay. and I'll come in because I can't hear it out there. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna try to take a nap. Um, excuse me. I had a question. Does the TV work? Um, it TikToks with Bree. Hi! You're having baby me. Hey, man, look. What's up, man? Oh, it's okay. What did he say? Baby brother, okay? You miss him so much. Do you want to see mommy? Yeah. 
Yeah. Heavy, your brother's coming, okay? okay. He's going to be out of mommy's tummy, okay? okay? Where is mommy at right now? Where is she? Um, She's in the hospital. She said the, the doctor's going to take the baby out, okay? So you guys, I'm going to do TikToks with Bree right now. So that's what we're doing since she feels better now. Are you ready, Bree? Yeah, I feel way better. Okay, good. Okay, so update is um, they water just, her water broke. She's still at 5 centimeters dilated. And the baby pooped. The baby pooped. So that's not always the greatest news but he, um, she says that his heart rate dropped so she thinks that the cord the medical cord is getting pinched so doctors are um, gonna be on the way over here to check her out and also um, I'm getting worried and brain is also fit certain for more contractions like pain ways <sighs> so that's kind of like the update worried. no it's gonna be okay we're gonna pray right now Everything's gonna be good. Turn it off. 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 Turn it
Maybe in like 20 years I'll be better technology now for having kids. Yeah. It's all it's all so it's all still the same, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's like you still feel the pain no matter what. You'd think that they'd make something to like as soon as you feel a contraction, you can just stop everything. Well, it'd be easy if, if we didn't have to, like, if it didn't cross the placenta barrier. Yeah. That's true. Baby reacts to a lot of stuff. Guys, update. Um, I'm doing the C-section. I'm scared though, cause of like, I don't know. The baby's been swimming in his poop, and you he has an. You have an infection. I have an infection, and it's just what's best. So, so we're gonna go get a C-section. It is 9:14 right now, you guys, and they were looking at Brandon's case, and she's been stuck at five since she basically got here. And um, so okay. it's, since since twelve, she's been stuck at five. Her cervix is really swollen, so they were looking over the case and they said that the baby's been basic. It's not good that he's been swimming and you know poop and being in there, and she has an infection. His position is like this. Like typically, a baby should like dive out of the canal, and then his baby's like stuck like that with his head. So that's why they just said that the ba the best. Um, Is he in here, okay? Alright. Um, I'm scared. You guys no, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. My mom did it. I know. Everybody did it. We're gonna be ready to see. Okay, pray for me. We'll pray for you. They can stay until the rain will roll you. I have a little hat for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave soon, pray. We'll be praying for you. There's some. You can put on. Take your sweatshirt off. Okay. See if it doesn't fit on over your clothes. There's a hat to put on, a mask, and shoe covers. How long does this infection usually take? They're in there about an hour, and then she'll be in a um, recovery for a good hour. Mm -hmm. So two to two and a half, three hours. So for sure the baby will be born today. Oh yeah, today's his birthday. The third. December third. A little Christmas Eve. His birthday was yesterday. It's dad's. Oh yeah. yeah. Cousin was yesterday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's the number? Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Eight. 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 Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to meet him? Yeah. yeah. I'm just scared. Don't be scared. And then every every surgery is a scare. Every there's always or a risk for anything. Even that to me is a scare. <coughs> so just keep that in mind. You guys got this. This will be a different experience than the first, but. As long as he's happy. 
Then he's okay and everything, right? Mm -hmm. He's good. It's just, you know, with everything coming going on, going on, it's me and the safest. That's all I care about safety. You and the baby both. Is that the doctor that's going to do the C-section? I can't wait to So, um, I wanted to do a little, oh yeah, okay. I wanted to do a little interview. How do you guys feel about meeting him? So what, what are your words? To I'm excited, but I just hope everything comes out okay. Like he's okay and I'm okay and everybody's happy. Because I have an infection and I don't know if he does too. Like, should I call your mom? Tell her what's going on. No. No, because then I'm gonna want to go to sleep. You're gonna be stressed. A week. And you gotta wake up at four. Fuck me, this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do have to wake up at four. That's the only thing. They will get no sleep. Mm hmm. After getting the C-section, I'm gonna want to go to sleep because I'm already so sleepy. I know. After this, I don't have no kid. <laughs> Me too. It's scary, dude. Not that. This is, this is so scary. <sighs> this is really so scary, dude. I wish you guys could have vlogged at the birth, but I turned it on the now. Maybe try doing it off your phone sneaking me so you can see hear the uh, Oh, I have an idea. So you, so we could get the first cry and have it on your phone. Put it in your pocket in your phone and then you could get the first cry and recase our audio, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, where's my phone at? In my bag. Where is it? Where should we go away in the car? Or should we don't? We can put every no. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go in there right away. With them, it's gonna take time, like an hour. No, she said an hour for the C-section and an hour for recovery. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's scary, but that's why you were saying. Huh? Yeah. 
So she just got her to see such a It took about an hour. I'm going to give her a bunch of minutes so right now she's asleep. Right, here's the baby. Relax, right? Relax, Oh, I think it's maybe not yet. So we're going to be in this room and share for like about an hour. And then we're going to go to our room. And then hopefully by then Brianna's awake so that she could update you guys. I got a whisper because there's like 10 people in here. Can you get some words in? Can you get some words in? You guys, I, I fell asleep through the whole thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open. When you did a season? Mm -hmm. I was so tired. Dude, you scared me because I don't know what you knocked yeah. out. Because I was so sleepy. And they said that you were fine in the fog. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know anything. But do you, you remember really the pain you were feeling shit. Uh, <laughs> they were trying to get him out. It was taking forever. Um, oh, I can't. I really can't pour blood because... Oh, sorry. Um, you get out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I need to get some more blood? Pour blood. They're gonna play the lullaby. So, I'm gonna push this Baby, but I was so scared for him. Dude, I was scared for both of you guys. I was like, I hope he's okay. Especially after what happened to my friend. I know. I just... During birth. Giving birth is, is no joke. Baby here and everything. 